What is going on, everybody? It is I, Cobra, and we are back again with a brand new video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, that share button, that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. today on an episode of Monday Night Raw, which by the way is the first Monday Night Raw I have watched since the Raw after WrestleMania, that Monday Night Raw, which was arguably the worst Monday Night Raw ever. I did a video about it. Let's move on from that. So Triple H comes out and announced that on May 27th, we will be getting a I guess a tournament. He didn't really go into specifics on how they would determine a new world heavyweight champion, but we got a new world heavyweight champion. They even dropped what it's supposed to look like. It looks really, really great. It looks really, really shiny, black, you know, the, the, the good stuff. I do like the fact that we're getting a, another world heavyweight championship. In this case, they want to go back to the old days when SmackDown would have the World Heavyweight Championship and Raw would have the WWE Championship and sometimes go back go back and forth. Now, why why do I bring that why do I bring this up? Because we get it. WWE is trying to make history with Roman Reigns trying to get to that 1000 day mark. The problem is he does not defend it as much as we would like to. We would like him to defend it at every pay-per-view and not the major four pay-per-views that we have, such as Survivor Series, SummerSlam, uh, Royal Rumble, and WrestleMania. The four, big four. Uh, he might do some Saudi, some Saudi Arabia um, appearances because, you know, they pay a lot. But besides the point, we don't really get to see him. We don't see him get do any interactions. There are tons of other wrestlers that I would like him to actually feud with besides Cody Rhodes. Now, this is my second part. Second part of this entire video, and then I'm done with here. Who do I think will win that said world title? There's only one person I can think of. There's only one person I can think of. Well, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's do three people. Three people off the dome. Number one, if they're saving what I think, if they're saving Cody versus uh, Roman for SummerSlam this year, they're not going to involve him in that tournament. It's going to be either Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins has to win it because I feel like he's been overlooked. So for him to become the first the first champion of the reality era is what Triple H is calling it now makes a lot of sense him number one number two maybe LA Knight now there's a big fan following there's a big there's, people are really following this guy that he want to become world champion I I do see that I do see that happening I do see that happening my third one, my third would be, I don't know. I don't have, I actually don't have a third person that I would actually want to win this said title. As we all know, the Universal Championship debuted in 2016. The first one was Finn Balor and he got hurt. Will history repeat itself? Will the first person to win this said title injure themselves? We will find out. We'll definitely find out. But that is today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new to the channel, like I said, make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys hit that share button. Like that video. Comment if need be. Let me know about what I should work on with my videos and all that good stuff. And from that, I will bid you guys adieu. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.